Having recently come back to Elder Scrolls Online, the first thing I did was of course get all of my add-ons reinstalled. Today I wanted to walk you through how to install and possibly troubleshoot your add-ons so you can enjoy them in your game as well. And as a heads up before we get started, add-ons are currently only available for the PC version of ESO. ESO add-ons use Minion as its installation manager, so the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to the Minion website and download it. I'll link it in the description of this video for you to find easily. Now once it's downloaded, it's time to install. When installing, it'll give you a default installation path, but you can change that to whatever you'd like. It's worth noting that Minion does in fact create its own folder, so you don't need to make one in advance or when selecting the new file path. I personally simply clicked on the drive I wanted to install it on and let Minion do the rest. And then you would click next, then next again and install. Once Minion is installed, it will more than likely have updates, so please do those when prompted. And now that Minion has updated, it's going to ask what game you want to scan for. I personally only checked off Elder Scrolls Online as I don't have World of Warcraft. I also checked the remember setting option so it wouldn't prompt me again with this. And then click continue. And once that's done, it'll pull up a list of scannable drives on your computer to scan for the game. You can either just leave them all checked or just check off the drive you know that your game is installed in. I also then rechecked the remember setting so it won't prompt me again for this option in the future then hit continue. Now, depending on if you let it scan all of your drives and the size of your drives, this could take a few minutes, so just sit tight. Once it's done scanning, you'll get a new pop-up window that will ask you to select a game and find the add-on folder for it. Click Elder Scrolls Online, and then a window will pop up for you to find the add-on folder for ESO. This is going to be located in your Documents folder. And once you're in your Documents folder, you want to click on Elder Scrolls Online and then open up the Live folder. And then you should see an add-on folder within that Live folder. If you don't have one, just create one. And please make sure that Add-ons has an S at the end. Then hit the Select Folder option once you've clicked on your Add-ons folder. At this point, Minion should be ready to use, but for me, normally it actually is just this big white empty screen. If you run into the same issue, don't worry. Simply close the program and relaunch it. It should be working properly now. Also, if you're a fan of dark mode, click the gear wheel in the upper right hand corner and then select dark mode theme to enable it. And now it's time for you to install add-ons, which is really, really simple and easy to do. All you have to do is hit the Find More button in the top row of options and you'll see a list of available add-ons. If you click on the name of the add-on, an info window will pop up to give you information on that add-on, including how many downloads, the last updates, screenshots if there are any, and a description of what it does. If you want to use the add-on, all you have to do is click the Install button either in the upper right corner of the pop-up window or in the list of add-ons on the right hand side. You'll see just Install buttons and you can just go ahead and click them all for whichever ones you'd like to install. A very, very important thing to note is that a lot of add-ons have library dependencies and when you look at the description of the add-on, it will tell you which ones that you need to install. So please make sure that you download those as well, as otherwise the add-ons aren't going to work. You can leave the pop-up window open for the add-on that you're installing and search in the Find More section the name of the add-ons that you'll need to make installing the dependencies a lot easier. Once your add-ons are installed, it's time to hop on in-game and make sure everything works. You don't have to have Minion open in the background to launch the game with your add-ons. From now on, you can just start your game like normal. Now on the main menu screen where you see your character list, you'll now have an option on the left hand side for add-ons. If you click on that, you can turn off add-ons, you can turn on and off particular add-ons, you can turn them off account wide, whatever you'd like to do or just see what you have installed. However, though, when you load into a character and hit the escape button, you'll now also see the same add-on option. This add-on menu is slightly different than the one on your main screen, as this one will show if any of the add-ons are missing a dependency. The add-on will be lit up in red to signify that something is wrong. You can either quit out of the game and install the add-ons that are missing and then log back in, or while you're in-game, you can tab over to Minion and install the missing add-ons. 
You'll just have to log out of your current character and then log back in in order to reflect the changes. It's also worth noting that editing an add-on settings in a particular character will usually edit it only for that character. You can also uncheck slash turn them off for a particular character if you'd like to while in the add-on settings for that character. If you want to uninstall any of your add-ons, all you have to do is right click them in the installed section and then select uninstall and it'll be removed from your game. I also do want to mention that you can manually install your add-ons for ESO. If you visit the ESO UI website, and I will link that also in the description down below, they have an install facts page that you can review if you'd rather do that. However, using Minion is the easiest and usually the most convenient option as well. And that's it. That's everything that you need to know in order to get started on installing add-ons for Elder Scrolls Online. Hopefully this helped if you were having any trouble either using Minion or just installing them overall. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you next time. Bye!